про те, що Верховна Рада звертається до парламентів і до всього світу з метою засудження дії Російської Федерації. І от є ще одне вже вечірнє, що Верховна Рада... Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm still trying to get some uh, broadcast out of Ukraine or places around Ukraine to find out what's going on over there. I found, I got a post today, and I'm going to show it to you, from SWLING. And somebody posted that Ukraine State Radio resumes broadcasting on 549 kilohertz, a medium wave band. And so what I did is I went to the Kiwi SDR webpage and I looked at their map. You can choose the map right here. I have it open here, I believe. Yes. And so I found this station, uh, not that one, not that one, this one. This is the one that I was listening to and recorded uh, yesterday or day before. This is a personal radio, SDR, and it's on the internet, and it's uh, owned by UR5VIB. I think that's the person's call letters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's call letters, and it allows Four, four users. There were four on when I first got on about 20 minutes ago, and I put myself in the queue. I like this new feature that Kiwi SDR has that I showed you the other day of if a radio already has its maximum number of users, you can A, you can get in a queue, and when you roll down to number one, it automatically connects you, and then you have complete control of that radio. Or, in this case, if all the four slots are being used, you can listen to any of those floor four slots of what the user is listening to or tuning. You have no control, you just kind of sit on the side and listen, which is another nice feature. And I really like that feature because, like this one, everybody's going to try to get on it, and he can only have four users. So I'm on it right now. That's this right here. This is Kiwi SDR. Here's the receiver. It says the receiver is at UR5VIB in, uh, in Ukraine. There's the grid number. You can also click on the map to see it is where it is on the map. I won't do that right now. He's using an overground wire. Oh, his overground wire was replaced by a mini whip. And there I tuned to 549, and that's what you were hearing. And I'll turn it back up for a few minutes, seconds, or whatever. Бухи в районі аеропорту Харкова. На Харківщині співробітники СБУ затримали чотирьох коригувальників вогню ворожої артилерії, повідомила Служба безпеки України. Тривога повітряна була о 16.17. Харків'яни ховалися в укриття, бо попереджали про переліт бомбардувальників близько. 16.30 Ірина Венедіктова повідомляла у Фейсбуці, що в центрі Харкова був... Now, I assume that's Ukraine. I don't speak any foreign languages and don't do a very good job of speaking English. Um, and supposedly from the other show I showed you where WRMI will be rebroadcasting from this station, not this one, but from that Ukraine radio, the English broadcast that appears not very often, but it does appear. And so I'm going to go back and see if I can find that post again or look at my video and see what times I should be trying to list via this radio over in Ukraine instead of the rebroadcast from WRMI. I hope that makes sense. 
I even confused myself on that one. Um, or maybe there is, uh, let me just try that right now. Let's go back to this. Let's do a search on this right here and see if they have a website with a program listed. Uh, no. It, they might, and I don't. Oh, here we go. I was listening on online. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't see. Maybe let me try this one for the heck of it. Yeah, maybe maybe we won't try it. Come on, hello. It's trying. It may be shut down. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get through. It's probably shut down. Let's uh, radio Ukraine International English. Let's see what that gives me. Oh, there's th here's the uh, the post that I told you about the other day. Yeah, right here. And oh, here it is. Give me hurt. Let's see. Due to increased interest in the current situation in Ukraine, and I read this to you the other day, I just forgot. Uh, WRMI has resumed its relays of the daily English language broadcast from Radio Ukraine. Ukraine. You, okay. Oh, well, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, official UFC service can be heard daily except Friday at 12 to 12.30 UTC. Okay, I missed it because it's already four or 1600 Eastern Daylight Time. So I missed it today. So what I'll need to do is set up a reminder tomorrow to go through this process and see if I can hear either from WRMI locally or from the Ukraine station that I've been showing you and see if I can hear the English broadcast and see, you know, if they're giving us any insight or whatever kind of information of what's happening over there. It's on all the TV channels, of course, but um, this would be uh, another source of information. Um, so it sounds like they're kind of holding their own, at least for two days now. I don't know how long that's going to last. Again, I don't know how long it's going to be before this radio station gets taken over. Uh, it's pretty fluid right now, but uh, we're going to give it a try, and I wish you would too, and report back to me. Leave a comment here on, on this video uh, if you've had any luck. Let's go back here just for a second, turn the volume up, see if it's still all in some other language. <laughs> Просто викидаєшся у полі, і твої останні слова «мама, папа, я тут», а «мама, папа» кажуть «ну і що?», то навіть вас звання, як зараз захопилися українці до руських матерів, вони... What, what we might accidentally hear is um, the battle going on and them breaking into the station and taking it over. Uh, I don't want to hog this radio because there's only four users allowed at a time, so I'm going to get off of it. And I wish one of the other four people that were on, or the other three people right now, would be tuned to this frequency, but they were up on the HF band. I don't know what they were trying to listen to. Maybe amateur radio operators. That's it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.